So what's going on guys, make sure we join the reviews and welcome back to yet another video. And in this video, we're going to be checking out and unboxing the LifeProof 3. So if you guys have been following my channel, you'll know that I've been a big fan of LifeProof cases since the day the company started on Kickstarter and I was one of their first few backers. So right here, we are many, many years later with the new and revised version of the LifeProof 3. So I have here the LiPro 3 for the iPhone 12 Pro Max as well as the iPhone 12 Pro. So personally, I've been actually using the 12 Pro version for the last couple of days to actually test out and give you my honest opinions. So by the way, this is not a sponsored video. I was actually kindly given two units by KWS Distribution, which is the official Autobox distributor in Malaysia to actually check out the cases with you guys because I'm actually really curious and I've actually never seen them in person. If you have used the previous generations of uh, LifeProof cases like the ones for the iPhone 11 series, these are basically no different but there are some improvements but there are also some drawbacks to this new, new line of cases. But before we begin the unboxing, a sub to the channel would definitely be awesome and also ding the notification bell so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post. So without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing of the LifeProof 3 for the iPhone 12 Pro Max and 12 Pro. Alright guys, so we are back as you can see I already have the iPhone 12 Pro version installed but I will be unboxing the iPhone 12 Pro Max version with you guys. The reason being I've been actually testing out the iPhone 12 version for the last couple of days and I do not want to take my phone out of this case yet because I do not have a screen protector because I had to remove the screen protector in order to get this installed. I'll be using this to actually give you a sound test as well. So with the case and without the case, so you can have an idea on how the differences and how more muffled the sound will be when you're using a waterproof case like this. All right, so let's quickly get into the unboxing. So right here, we have ocean-based plastic, life proof branding. You can see gift pack and all their CSR activities. So you can see free waterproof case. So this is actually waterproof to two meters for one hour. And also drop proof from two meters trust me i've actually dropped this phone in the case because of how slippery it is i'll be talking about that later on through this video so this is actually for the iphone 12 pro max and on the back you can see more csr activity so this is a 360 degree protection for your device so if you're afraid of dust and you want more protection especially from the elements like water like rain snow mud and stuff like that and you want to have your phone protected from even like hand sanitizer and stuff like that. you want to make it easier to clean your phone during this pandemic a waterproof case like this actually will be able to withstand all the elements of course they haven't said like it's like washable and stuff like that but trust me i've actually washed my case many many times and the case still holds up well so i've actually washed many of my lifeproof cases back then when i was using the iphone 11 pro max version when I brought it to Korea, I actually got it stuck in the mud and stuff like that. So I actually had to wash it down with soap. So yeah, the case didn't have any leakage. So I trust this new version, which is basically the same thing, will have the capability to withstand all the elements like soap, hand sanitizers and stuff like that. Let's get quickly get this unboxed. So it's 5G compatible, by the way. You see on the top. So the case is very, very simple. We have actually updated the packaging. So all you get is the case and on the back you get some warranty information and stuff like that if I can take this out So you can see right here the stuff which we don't really need to read so They also have instructions on how to get this installed But I've already done that So it's basically a very very simple uh, process Right so here is the case so the case comes uh, not sealed Because if you seal it for too long it will damage the waterproof gasket so this is for storage wise so if you do want to store this you can actually store it just like this so that will actually prolong the life of your case all right so opening the back portion what else do we have we have a microfiber cloth right here i love life proofs microfiber cloths they're like one of the best in the industry let's take a look around the case all right so on the back we get this uh so-called optical lens which i will be sharing with you my grabs about this lens similar to the iphone 11 pro max version so they have this optical lens which is very very good in fact if you compare with many of the cheap china alternatives this actually does not degrade the quality of your photos so you can see the optical coating you can see this purplish layer right here so it's something like your glasses your spectacles they actually have a uv coating this is similar 
so it actually keeps the color of your photos uh, alive as well so it doesn't degrade any of that all right live proof branding you can see the texture is very smooth similar to the auto box symmetry plus which i reviewed uh, two videos back or three videos back very smooth backing uh let's take a look at the side so you can see the power button the power button is kind of small uh, for my liking i'll be showing you that on my 11 pro max because i do not have my 12 pro max with me at the moment while i'm doing this video but i'll be just going through with you the the looks of the case the stuff the protection wise let's take a look at the left side you can see this uh mute and ring toggle this small little dial you have to twist and then your volume rockers plus and minus on the bottom we get this uh dust covers mesh grill for your speakers which basically have no function in my opinion because the sound basically just resonates inside the case so i'll be showing you, you guys later you have this uh, dust spot as well right here i'm not too happy with the dust spot this year but i'll be showing you why later on right so you have this built-in screen protector on the front which is very similar to the past couple of years but slightly improved slightly improved that i got to say okay that's about it for the case let's take a look at the inside okay this is where all the magic happens for drop protection you can see right here these rubber bumpers let me get that to focus again right so you can see right here all around is uh what is protecting your device so you can see at the bottom here the sort of foam lining so it keeps your speakers protected i should say the right side left side i should say you can see right here so this is how the toggle works so we're all very similar and then you have this small little bump right here so it raises the this film above so it doesn't like block the earpiece because you know the earpiece is your secondary speaker as well as your speaker to answer calls as well all right so the back of course they do recommend you to do a water test but i have done the water test for the 12 pro version so it's definitely recommended that you do a waterproof test so you just put a piece of uh, tissue or you can put even this cloth inside here close it up put it into the sink or something fill it up with, fill up the sink with water and then test it for like half an hour so you should not have any leaks if there's any leaks definitely contact live proof and get it sorted out all right so right here you can see the foam lining for the camera as well as the optical lens from the inside so definitely works you can see this rib design and also the gasket that goes around the edges of the back portion all right so let's test button tactility so this is what i've been using for the last couple of days uh, let me show you the smudges on the screen smudges are not a problem you can just wipe it down with microfiber cloth provided so that will actually keep this screen clean so in terms of reflection definitely you can see there's some reflection installation on this case is pretty simple just like all the other cases so you put in volume button side first and then just snap it all around make sure all the the, the clips are actually sealed off this is the most important part and also this pot below definitely you have to make sure that this pot is actually sealed because if you this pot is not sealed that's it this is actually one of the easiest ways for water to come in all right let's take a look at the button tactility see right here very tactile no problems right there so tactility of the button is good not the best but it is adequate because of the thickness of the case i think this is actually good enough okay volume blockers works clicky i do like this i really do like this very similar to what catalyst is offering and then volume buttons works fine similar to the power button is harder to press as you expect and and cause the, how thin it is i feel it's not as comfortable something digs into my skin hurts my fingers a little if you use your phone often so you do have this uh, small bumpers here to protect the buttons from getting destroyed if you do drop your device sideways so definitely a good touch right there all right so taking a look at the back you can see the camera lenses protected very precise in fact i should say the cutouts doesn't affect lidar i have actually tried portrait mode with uh, this case on and it doesn't affect but now here comes the things that i do not like okay number one camera quality is not affected but it has the same issue which makes ghosting even worse let me give you a very very good example all right so right here you can see picture quality is fine 
taking the screen everything works fine no problems you can swipe up and down but when you do have a direct light source like my lamp right here you can see let me let me show you you can see right here there is a small blue halo because of the optical coating plus the of course another layer on on the camera lens so you know ghosting is already bad on the iphone 12 and 11 series which apple never actually got to solve this case makes it even worse if especially if you're in direct sunlight definitely there will be like a bluish tint or a bluish layer ghosting around the subject uh, i'm not sure whether this could be something stylistic for you guys but for me I think that's the only gripe for the camera side of things which I really do not like about this case and uh, that is also present on the 11 Pro Max version and till now they still can't get it solved of course in terms of alignment wise it's much better than the 11 series because I used it for the 11 and also 11 Pro Max right on the back okay this is something I do not like yes wireless charging works which is good MagSafe sort of works charging does it's not affected but of course you won't get the MagSafe functionality but in terms of how slippery it is let me show you you can actually just slide it around the table it's super slippery that's how i dropped my phone my phone was on something like a printer material and it just fell off just like that so there's totally no grip in terms of the front better grip much better grip but on the back if you're putting your phone like face down like this all you need is like a slight angle and there goes your device the sides are okay the sides do have enough grip but if you're like holding your phone something like this and it's just it will just fall off just like that uh screen quality you can see doesn't suffer that bad and there are no like bubbling then there's no air gap so let me get the unlock no air gap right here you can see throughout the whole screen very very nice i i do think out the box or i mean life proof did a really really good job with the screen this time there is some uh, degradation of course because this is uh, not like a very good quality tempered glass or very good quality film protector this is actually just uh, a makeshift one which you will use uh, temporarily so some people do not use this case on the daily but i've actually used it on the daily to actually experience it the last gripe is audio quality so i'll let you guys listen to the audio quality right now and then you be the judge Alright guys, so since I've already heard the audio quality, tell me what you guys think. I think it is even worse than the 11 series. I think the 11 series sounded better. Why? One reason I think it is better on the 11 series is because 11 series had two stops right here for the earpiece, but this has one. So I bet now it's not balanced. You can hear that it's really, really muffled. All the sound is actually coming through the back of the device. I mean, like, why is it coming through the back of the device? Why can't it just come out through the port below? I do not know. This acts like a subwoofer when they first introduced the iPhone 4 version. I said the back acts like a subwoofer and resonates the sound. But in reality, they actually suck. But this is really unacceptable for me. In my opinion, I think paying 379 ringgit for a case that sounds like crap uh, is something I, I really do not like of course i didn't care anything but i'm giving you my honest opinion if i had to pay 379 ringgit but i mean if you're a person that likes to go swimming you take your phone to the pool you take your phone like uh, snorkeling and stuff like that this case definitely does the job i'm not saying that's a bad case but daily for me when i use this case to actually listen to music of course i use my airpods pro but because sometimes you do have to take calls uh using the speaker phone this case ruins the calls for me actually i have to crank up the volume almost to maximum just to hear yes you can open the pot if you really do want to get a better volume catch you open the pot and uh, that actually sort of sort of improve things if you open this pot but if you open the pot i mean what's the point because the pot is supposed to protect it from dust from water if you do have to open it that probably defeats the purpose of a waterproof case right so i think audio quality is something they really need to fix trust me it's the same on the 12 pro max version no difference because the design is the same i've never tried the catalyst case but i believe from the reviews i heard the catalyst waterproof case is better of course slightly better uh if you do want me to get that to review do drop in a comment so i can actually do a comparison of the free versus the 
Catalyst waterproof case, which I've never actually tried one in my life yet. Overall, would I recommend this case? Um, in this pandemic, if you are a type that is like paranoid about germs and you don't mind the, the really muffled sound and the slight ghosting effect on the camera, definitely I do recommend this case. For the price, 379 ringgit, it's a tough sell. The Catalyst case is going for like much lesser. I think 329 ringgit or you can, you can even get it for like 299 ringgit. I think that is a more logical price. I'm not sure why they're pricing this crazy high. All right, so this has been my thoughts about the Life for Free and also the things that I don't like. So I'll leave the links in the description below for Malaysian buyers as well as buyers outside of Malaysia. So if you guys did like it, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.